Hi guys, it's Carrie here from Tembella Arts and today I wanted to talk about the type of paper that I use in my artwork. So I've got Carl the Kingfisher here and the particular types of papers that I've used with him are actually thicker cardstock type paper. So for the majority of my work I like to use thicker type stock which is generally just a bit thicker than your, than your normal everyday uh, printing paper. So one of the brands that I've got at the moment that I'll lean on for quite a bit is American Crafts Cardstock. And this is a value pack that they create, which has a great range of colors in it. And what I really love about this particular cardstock is that it's at 216 GSM, which makes it a nice thick and a good heavy weight for my work. And what I find is that, especially with letters, so when I've been creating letters previously in the past, I really like to use that thicker cardstock, especially for the outline, because that thickness actually gives us a really good, strong sort of base to create our outline of our letter from, or any piece for that matter. And when you actually apply your glue to the bottom and then adhere it, it won't bend and buckle. What I've found in the past is that if I'm using finer paper, and I'm trying to get a nice, strong, bold outline. A thinner paper, like a copy paper, will simply bold and uh, buckle and bend once the, drew, uh, the glue dries. So you're really looking for something that has a bit of thickness and can handle that over that process. Um, the other thing is that once you're starting to get into detail work, and this is probably a good example here with my letter O, is when you're looking at doing some of these finer, intricate, Swirls, for example, the thinner the paper, the more ability your paper will have to actually create a really fine, uh, tight coil. So if we look at this one, for example, <clears throat> we can see here, this particular swirl has been made with one of the thicker stocks with the 216 GSM, and this one's been made with a finer one. So my other go-to brand which is available here in Australia is Essentials. You can get these at Spotlight and this is 176 GSM so it's a little bit thinner, it's a bit more manageable to make finer sort of detail and I'll give you a quick demo. So what I've got here is the American Crafts cardstock and this has actually got a texture to it and you might notice that in a lot of my work I'll create like a background type design and I often like to use a card that has that texture in it so it just gives the piece a little bit more of um, a little bit more depth than texture so this is our textured cardstock the 216 GSM I'm just going to make a little tight coil here for you so I'm just using my beat up old crochet needle that I use as a quilling tool so there's our coil and that's that's come up quite nice actually that's nice and tight and then what I've got here is the 176 GSM so what you'll find is that the thinner the stock the tighter you're going to be able to get that initial coil I don't know if you would have noticed just before I unraveled that one how much tighter that is you can just see in comparison with the two. So with our thinner stock, we're always going to be able to get a tighter sort of coil from it, but our thicker stock will handle being beaten up and moved around and basically changed about quite a bit more. So that's that's the fundamental difference between the two. But like I said, any paper is good paper and you can get beautiful effects using a different array of different papers. So I encourage you to experiment, but that's that's the stock that I use currently in my work. Hope this is helpful and leave any comments below. See you soon.